Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. In this video, we will be discussing how to netput cluster data on tap 8.2 and later. This video is based on KB ID 1010055. Download a copy of data on tap netput image and software image for your storage platform from the NetApp support site and save the software image to an HTTP server that is accessible to your system. Map a drive to this HTTP server directory as displayed on the screen. Extract only netput.tg file. This will create a netput directory and do not extract the other image file. So that your directory listing should contain the file image.tgz netput.tg and the directory netput. To begin netput process, log into the controller using console and hold the controller to get into the loader prompt using the command as displayed on the screen. Here we are selecting node 2. Are you sure you want to hold the node 2? Press enter to continue with this. Verify the boot environment variables at the loader prompt. The environment variables for boot org dot init dot boot underscore clustered should be set to true and the variable for boot org dot init dot use boot p should be set to false. To verify the current environment variables configuration, execute the command as displayed on the screen. So here the value is set to true. And here the value is set to false. To modify the environment variable configuration, you can use the command set env as displayed on the screen. Now configure the IP address to the interface E0M using the command as shown on the screen. Now netput using the IP address of the HTTP server and the command is as displayed on the screen. The system begins to boot but stops at the boot menu. Based on the requirement you can either select option 4, clean configuration and initialize all disks or option 7, install new software first. This menu option downloads and installs a new data on tap image to the boot device. We hope you find this video helpful. Please subscribe to NetApp KB TV for more knowledge based videos. Thanks for watching.